Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, High Country Overland. It's uh, hopefully you've been watching some of the other videos, the channel about Tacoma things, most things Tacoma. So also some overlanding, some things to do around Boone, North Carolina, gear reviews. I'm Josh. All right, today I'm doing a review of the RSI Smart Cap. I've done an install video of it and a bunch of other videos on how to build a kitchen cabinet for it. And so here we are at my house. I keep thinking I'm gonna to go to some exciting location to do these videos, but then I wound up doing like a hundred other things and then trying to fit it in here at the house. So here we are. We're gonna go out there, do a little review of the smart cap. I got it in March and uh, so I've had some months to use it. Use it on a two day overlanding trip on Hurricane Creek. Use it on numerous camping trips with the family. So let me show you how I organized it and what I think has been working well about it. All right, as you guys know, I got 2019 Toyota Tacoma. I got the smart cap back in March. And let me show you how I organized it. So I got the, the smart cap adventure, Evo A. And it came with these Molly panels here. So I've installed some different things to it. So this, this is the ripaway pouch here. You can get these off Amazon. And I got everything we need for my stove or to start a fire in here. A bunch of kindling, uh, some ferro rods, lighters, everything you might need. I got another one of these little packs. This one is in a rip away. This is Molly pack. I don't need this one to come off. This one is filled with cold packs and hot packs. I don't even know if it's winter or if somebody gets hurt, give an ice pack. Got my grail filter here, ready to go. If I want to go on a hike, I didn't bring any water with me. Which, which is unusual, but if that happens, I could just filter some on the way. Demo shovel right there. That's a stealth shovel. Got a flashlight all right on the inside. So a ton of stuff just on one of the doors right there. Now let's take a look here. So we're going inside the driver's side. And from the driver's side, you can see, as I showed the install video, I installed this netting right here, this little net. And um, I posted a link to this on Amazon and it goes, these are M8 bolts, I bolts. And so this is screwed right on with that. And I used, you can see like I do a lot of things, zip ties to make it tight. And so I got a bunch of carabiners, stuff I use for just setting everything up. I mean, it could be used for a rescue, but mainly I use it to set up hammocks. And uh, you can see, I could put, I put a lot of stuff on the fly up here got a chainsaw, a bunch of stuff for the kids. I mean, the, overall the RSI Smart Cat's been awesome, keeping everything dry. All right, so here's what it looks like from the back. All right, so I have the full bin on the passenger side and we'll take a look at that. But I've put a bunch of Velcro strips on it. You can see all these Velcro strips here. And then used some of these um, rip away bags as just like as pouches and they'll just mount directly to it now. So this has all my quarters, zip ties, tape, everything for repair. And I can just rip this right off and then it goes right back on it here. And this has been um, really durable. This tape hasn't come off. All right, and this is where I keep all my trash bags, the grocery bags, anything uh, really for trash or sometimes for like dirty objects. So I moved the panel from the other door on the passenger side to the back of this uh, full bin. And then so I was able to mount my camp rugs to it, this umbrella, and this here is my ortho kit. And that's mounted with the same Velcro. It's got the Velcro on the side, the Velcro strips. This is the, so this, this becomes a ripaway pouch then, because it has the, um, this is the hook side, right? And then this is the loop side here. And I got also on top, same thing, a bunch of, uh, looks like some of that just came off, but I got a bunch of the Velcro patches and then got, these rip away bags, see, away. And 
Let's put that right back up there. So I got all my, everything for bleeding here. Some miscellaneous climbing equipment here. And some more pouches here. So yeah, let's just rip right off. Here. And then put back up. I think this is everything for my ham radio. And this is just some extra band-aids or something like a little boo-boo kit. Got some string here. Sometimes the kids need string to fix things or to mess with. So the space below the full bin is the perfect size for the front runner uh, flat packs. So I got three of those. You can see the flat packs fit perfect all the way up just to the edge of the deck drawers. So the perfect distance between the deck drawers and the full bin. And this is just some um, elastic bungee that got hooked on there just to make sure they don't slide out and then Velcroed it to the bed stiffener here. And I'm sorry, hooked it, carabiner, uses carabiner to hook it to the bed stiffener. And then for a table, there's just enough space behind the full bin and the side and also the top of the deck drawers and top of the cap for a table to slide in. So I got that table slid in back there and I can just pull that out whenever I need it. So I didn't wind up getting the pull out table for the top of the cap because I like having this net in here to throw things that I don't know, that I want to keep separate from everything else or just on the fly. If this has a bunch of equipment in it and I get something out, I just want to throw it up there real quick. So it's pretty easy. So I got the Velcro here, a lot of Velcro. Velcro on this side panel here. And then this is held on by that Molly panel. All right. You know, and on top of the smart cap, I have the two 90 liter Rome boxes and the Overland Vehicle Systems 270 awning. So I'd go over that, how to mount. This is the Prinsu um, cap rack, or you know, I, can't, I think that's what it's called, the cap rack or the bed rack. And I have a video on how to install that. All right. And then this is the kitchen side. So if I, I think I have three videos that have been posted on my build for this and I put all the specs and everything. This is plywood from Lowe's, carpet from Lowe's, and it's just tacked on. And it's just a design that I made and it's just to accommodate the things that I always, <coughs> that I always carry for the, for the kids, for me, my wife, for any time we go camping. It's got like all their mugs and lemonade and all their plates and everything. The little snacks, the stuff right here to make coffee. All right, well, that's it. So that's my little review. Overall, the RSI Smart Cap is my favorite mod. It, my favorite mod used to be the deck drawers, but deck drawers number two, the smart cap number one. Together, they're amazing. I, I mean, it works awesome. And I just have so much dry storage back there. Before, I had the bed rack and everything had to be put in cases or put in dry bags, but now I can just throw stuff back there all the time. I don't have to worry about it because on all the trips I've been on, the smart cap has been dry. It's kept most of the dust out, but it's also, uh, most, most importantly, kept everything dry. So I uh, highly recommend it. RSA SmartCast went awesome. It's really modular too, so you can see all the stuff you could do with it. Uh, use Velcro, use those Molly panels uh, to hook up a bunch of pouches and everything too. All right, well, uh, let me know if you, what you think about this video. Let me know if you like it and check out some of their videos on the channel. All right, take care, bye.